Raleigh Mercer football team will be honoring a very special group of men. Pioneers, I guess, because, uh, what was it, five years ago, they were the ones walking out in the field here. It's so hard to believe that it's been five years. It was just like that that we did that. Avery Braxton was here in Bear Country talking with teammates who helped bring Mercer football out of hibernation. Oh, I love it. Football is all about wins and losses, but the victories for the 2013 Mercer football program were special and bigger than the game itself. All of them came together and uh, one of the most more historic uh, years in, in college football. The team was the first to play at Mercer University after a more than 70 year hiatus and will be honored at the first home game of the 2018 season. When players first arrived on campus, there wasn't five star stadium, there wasn't a field house, there wasn't even a field. The first couple of weeks, they didn't have anywhere to practice. We had to practice on one of the intramural fields. Uh, didn't have anywhere to wash their laundry, so we had to go back to their, their, their room and, uh, and uh, bring their laundry the next day. Seth Hadaway and Ryan Knapp were two of the young men on that team, and for the first season, only battled against one another. It was really hard because you know, you're hitting guys that are supposed to be your teammates, but the whole first year, you don't look at them as teammates. You look at them as you know, the other side of the ball, defense versus offense for a full year. That all ended on August 31st, 2013, when the team won their first game of the season in very dramatic fashion. A last second field goal to win it all. I mean, there's a lot of anticipation, a lot of work that's been put in at that point. And I mean, it was a good game. And to end on a nail biter field goal like we did, it was incredible. Seeing that ball go through the uprights was just pure joy. And uh, everything, I felt like that game was a culmination of, of that whole practice year, that whole summer, that whole spring was for that game. The Bears will go on to set an NCAA record 10 wins for a startup program, something that will bond that group for the rest of their lives. In Macon, Avery Braxton, 13 WMAZ Sports. Of course, the Bears now play in the very competitive Southern Conference, and they start conference play next week on the road against Sanford. That was so special to be a part of that when everything came back like that. I'll always remember that. All right.